What if we transformed waste into gold? And what if extracting natural resources, transforming them into finished products, and throwing them away afterwards was no longer the normal path to follow? This is rubbish and now becomes gold. And what if the path became a circle, a cycle that generated profit? Well, we think it's a fantastic business. An economy in the shape of an operating cycle in which urban resources are used to preserve natural resources. It is essential to act now. What if we move to the circular economy? In the circular economy, products at the end of their lives are still thought of as resources and injected back into the manufacturing circuit. Goods are reused, refurbished or dismantled and recycled in a continuous circle. It's the circular economy. Many mobile phones, for example, can often have a second life. We are in London, capital of a country where 95% of the population owns a mobile phone, of which 80% are smartphones. In other words, very high-tech products. Hello, phone bank, how can I help? A whole sector of activities is now tapping into the second-hand mobile phone resource. It's a great opportunity for innovative business models like leasing, renting or refurbishing. Well, we think it's a fantastic business. We get 70,000 mobile phones every month from a variety of different sources, uh, mainly individual consumers, but we also get a number of corporates, uh, so businesses, public bodies, police forces, and also a number of charities that run schemes with us. The phones all come to a unit, such as this one, a facility here, where we receive them, uh, we process the units, check that they're working or, or not working, as the case may be. We remove the data from those handsets and we then resell them. So we sell them on to international markets uh, all over Africa, all over Southeast Asia, and more so in, uh, recently, particularly with the increasing value inherent within the mobile phones, increasing markets also back to the UK and back to Europe. But if a phone can't be reused or refurbished, it can still be dismantled and recycled. For big industrial groups, the circular economy proves to be more profitable than the linear economy. We're in Belgium, in Hoboken, near Antwerp, at a company called Umicor. They specialise in the recovery of precious metals, particularly from phones, but also from other high-tech equipment. We make products and we recycle them. So through our basic operation, we already emanate the circular economy ID. So the circular economy has indeed the potential to be a win-win-win, win for environment, win for business and win for jobs. Here, they manage to extract over 99% of the precious metals present in a mobile phone. Among these are gold, silver, palladium and many others. One figure speaks volumes. 50,000 mobile phones yield one kilogram of gold. Over 100 million euros have been invested in the Umicore site in Hoboken. It's a profitable business, showcasing the sort of circular environmental efficiency that Europe will need to cut its dependence on imported raw materials. The European Commission is looking for ways to boost waste prevention, reuse and recycling through a package of measures to encourage a move to the circular economy, where scarce resources are used more efficiently. It is estimated that the measures will mean a reduction in demand for raw materials of around 20% and an increase of 3% in gross uh, domestic product in the, European, in the European Union. But the circular economy is not just about precious materials. It also applies to the simplest of consumer products. Jeans, for example, the most famous trousers in the world, are taking their first steps in the circular economy. We are in Amsterdam. In this boutique, instead of buying jeans, you rent them. At the end of the lease, the jeans are exchanged for a new pair and are completely recycled. It's a business based on performance, not ownership, according to the inventor of the formula. 
do you need to be the owner of the jeans? No, you want to wear the jeans. And um, if you wear the jeans and you can make the use of the jeans, it's, it's good enough. If then afterwards you can send them back to us, and we make sure that we can reuse the raw material, then we are changing the economy, and it's good for everything. But we still can use the jeans. Anna chose to use this formula. She greatly appreciates the fact that the jeans for rent are made with clean cotton, grown without the use of pesticides and using the least possible water. This is a new model. Did you know that making a single pair of jeans requires 8,000 litres of water? Did you know that cotton cultivation represents only 2% of world agriculture but uses one quarter of all the pesticides spread over the planet each year? It's a matter of urgency to raise awareness among consumers. Je, je leest eigenlijk een spijkerbroek en uh, dan betaal je elke maand betaal je daar een bedrag aan. Um, en na een jaar krijg je de mogelijkheid om hem terug te brengen. Um, en dan gaat hij terug de cirkel economie in van uh, het, uh, het recyclen. Het is, het is een prachtig design, het zit heerlijk. But after that, the cotton from which the jeans are made can be recycled to produce cotton ready for weaving again. When the jeans reach the end of their first or second life, they are shredded. This precious material then heads for Italy, where it will be turned back into jeans. We are near Florence, in Italy. Here, an extremely precise industrial process makes it possible to use this sort of cotton wool to make a new thread ready to be woven. So this is what you get from Holland. This is gold. This is rubbish and now becomes gold. A skilled workforce and several centuries of experience are necessary for recycled cotton to be reintroduced into the classical industrial process as a raw material. A new cotton thread. So we can use a lot of yarn from, from the old denim, but we always have to mix it with new fresh cotton, bio cotton, in order to make strong denim. So we can use all the old denim, but we have to mix it with new cotton. Once this is achieved, the recycled cotton can become jeans canvas once again, or denim. Elsewhere in Italy, in Prato, also near Florence, other workers excel in the weaving and making of jeans. Weaving recycled denim is done using exactly the same machines as denim made from new cotton threads treated with pesticides. So the circular economy requires no new investment. The new cotton thread can also become something other than a pair of jeans, a jumper, a sweatshirt. The circular economy inspires the growth of new businesses, such as this traceability system. Julio, yes. tell me how this works with this ticket. That is why he feels it is important to inform consumers as to the origin and itinerary of every one of his products. Grazie a quella che noi chiamiamo Remo Key, e quindi un tag che è possibile mettere sul capo di abbigliamento oppure sul prodotto Remo. Eh, il consumatore può ovviamente con un tablet scannerizzare e conseguentemente avere immediatamente un film, un video, che mostra non solo il consumo di fibra rigenerata rispetto alla fibra nuova, ma anche il risparmio di acqua, energia e anidride carbonica. Questa è economia circolare. L'idea alla base di Remo è il movimento. Remo non è un marchio, ma è un movimento che serve per sollecitare, per diffondere nel mercato l'idea di economia circolare, l'idea di tracciabilità all'interno della filiera dell'abbigliamento, l'idea di trasparenza e quindi promuovere prodotti sostenibili. In recent years, the EU has been putting in place policies and targets to boost the sustainability of EU businesses helping them cut waste and use resources more efficiently. The latest Commission proposals, a circular economy package, will set out key building blocks to unlock the EU's economic potential, combining growth and jobs with using fewer resources. Two million new jobs uh, would be created in the European Union 
and uh, European uh, businesses would save uh, around uh, 600 billion euro through measures uh, uh, to promote uh, uh, reuse, uh, uh, recycling of materials uh, and uh, uh, eco-design. Investing in the circular economy needs to be profitable to create jobs in Europe. Growing market demand for a more circular approach to goods and services will generate economies of scale that are advantageous to business, consumers and the environment alike.